Centers for Disease Control have determined certain barometers for telling when a person moves from HIV to AIDS. And those indicators include having what's called an opportunistic infection. And there are certain infections that are more likely to occur in people who have AIDS, and some of those are pneumonias, or CMV, which is a virus that can infect the brain or the eyes. In certain cases, it could be certain types of cancer that are rare, but will show up particularly in people who are HIV infected. So having an opportunistic infection is one way to determine that someone has moved from HIV to AIDS. Another way is what's called T cell count. And T cells are helper cells in the um, bloodstream that sort of indicate how strong your immune system is. So a T cell count under 200 would lead someone to be diagnosed with AIDS versus HIV. Another way of looking at it is viral load. And so at a certain amount of viral load, they will determine that someone has moved from being HIV infected to having AIDS. So those are really the three barometers that would indicate that someone moves from HIV to AIDS. If you're HIV positive, it's really important to work with your medical provider to keep track of your T cell count, to keep track of your viral load, to see if you have any signs or symptoms of opportunistic infections, and to try to stay as healthy as possible.